Here, Spice comes in. 1400 meters, start to hit the lever. Runners sent on their way from the 1400. Elusive ladies right there, Dinah Shet with the blue cap. Quick answer now runs up into second position. Now followed further back by She's a Matador. Non negotiable is on the outside of runners. That's racing about four or five lengths off the leader. Hot response looks rather strong. That's with the blinkers. Now followed further back by September Rain. Ira Fiesta's on the outside, then Sol's region. Uh, She's a Matador now gets up to lead it. Dinah's Jet is right there at the rail, followed on the outside of non negotiable. The white blinkers between them is quick answer. Pure Spice races about two and a half, three lengths off the leader. Dinah's Jet is perfectly placed at the rail. Hot response, elusive lady. Then September Rain and Sol's region. It's compact as they turn for home. She's a mounted or the leader. Dinah's Jet, the blue cap. Quick answers on the outside. Then Pure Spice. Ear de Fiesta, hot response. Top of the lane, she's a matador. Dinah's Jet now throws out the challenge. Down the inside of that one there is quick answer. She's a matador. Now here comes Dinah's Jet. Dinah's Jet now comes into the lead past the 200 meter marker from she's a matador. And Dinah's Jet is running powerfully though. And Dinah's Jet's going on to score. Dinah's Jet has got it won. Second place will go to she's a matador. Idia Fiesta ran third and Pure Spice ran fourth. So, victory for number three, Diana's Jet, the filly by Jetmaster for Mike Tukak. And this one's another one for Smunga Kamalo, also always prominent. Then kicks away halfway up the stretch and then races away from the opposition. And number three, Diana's Jet pays two round 20 on the tote and is the tote favourite. Second placing, if we run it across. Second placing will go to She's a Matador, third to number six, Idia Fiesta, then number one, Pure Spies. They are followed by Hot Response, September Rain, Quick Answer, then Solzwegian. Further back in the field then was non-negotiable. So the winner and favourite is with the blue cap under the hands and Dianas Jed comes into the lead and then races away from the opposition, Smungo Kamalo. This one for El Adiat, South Africa. And they win it well. 21 days since that last run. Was a little bit problematic on the way to the start. Was led down by George the Pony. The fourth race is the opening leg of the jackpot. It's over 1,800 metres. It's on the poly until the running of the fourth race. Back to the studio. Welcome back to Gravel. That was race three over 1400 meters. The first leg of your pick six and the favorites, Julia Blarged. That was number three, Diana's Jet, the well bred uh, three year old daughter by Jetmaster from the Mark de Cox stable. Ridden to victory very well by Smanga Kamala. Got one of the reps here from the Mark de Cox uh, stable doing duty. Top ride. Yeah, well done to Smanga. She gave me a very hard time getting at the start. Um, just well done from keeping his patience with her. She's a filly that's improving, you know. We'll see how she goes. Hopefully, she's learned to settle. I think, yeah, if, if uh, you, you get her right and she does improve, I think you're going to see loads more. Yeah, she's using a lot up by the time she gets to the start, so let's see if she goes from here. Okay, she took quite a while to get down to the start. I think they were looking to scratch her at the end, but thanks for them for holding on waiting for her. 100%. Uh, anything else for the evening? Um, so we've got a cup in the day. I think this was our strongest in the day. All right, lovely. Enjoy your evening. Thanks. Let's get Smunga. Smunga's getting uh, lots of cheers here from, uh, from the crowd. Uh, Smanga, I must say, top rider. Eh? That's two uh, two favourites that have just romped home. Take us through the race. Hey, you know, it's, uh, uh, John asked me to sit about uh, three, four lengths, but she pinged the gate so well, and I just uh, go, got her to the rail so I can maybe get a little bit of cover from horses on the outside. And uh, I did just get red one to lead me, and I come on top of the straight, and uh, she sort of like wanted to, she had a, like a flat spot, and I'm like, okay, let me give her a little tap. And then once I gave her a tap, and then that's where she started the motor and just uh, give her a nice clear run. From then onwards, you know, it's just a matter of uh, what's going to come and get her, but she went very, very nice. And it got quite tight uh, up on the outside rail there? Yeah, you know, uh, Derek, uh, he, he decided to go out, but I was already there, obviously. But uh, Mafili, she, she just dug down deep and took that gap right through. And uh, she, wanted, she wanted comfortable. And uh, all big thanks to uh, Mike Ducock Racing Team uh, uh, in Joburg. they giving me some support in here in, in, in Durban. I'm uh, very thankful for that. And uh, also to my sponsors, Maurice Fontaine and uh, uh, Vilsa Hope Drift. Well done to them. 
Well, Smanga, talking about support, when you uh, ride a winner, the, the crowd uh, definitely lets you know about it. Yeah, no, it's always nice. Uh, it uh, it just gives you that uh, 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 a nice adrenaline to just carry on and try and get uh, to try and get the best out of the horses. And uh, they, if they had to support racing, they must come uh, more of them uh, come and uh, to races and support us. Smanga, great stuff. Top route. Maybe see you back later. Thank you. There we've seen the running of race number three. That was number three, Diners Jets. Another one for Smanga Kamala teaming up with the Mark de Cox stable. That was a three-year-old daughter by Jetmaster. Like I said, Smugga Kamala, Mark de Kock. That was the first leg of the pick six. We'll see you back. Race four, first leg of the jackpot.